Hi guys, this is our tutorial on utility maximization. This brings together what we've been doing for the last couple of tutorials about budget constraints and indifference curves. So this tutorial brings it all together. Um, we know that our budget constraint has a slope of negative px over py. If you don't, you should go back and watch that tutorial. Um, we also know that the slope of our indifference curve is negative mux over muy. We also derive this in one of our previous tutorials. Now, how does this all come together for maximization? Um, we use the, the tangency condition and that's why we need the slope. So let's look at it more conceptually. So we know there's infinitely many indifference curves representing our utility preferences and the higher indifference curve is preferred to the lower indifference curve, meaning if we have u1, u2, u3, u4, and so on, we have infinitely many of these. I would love to be on the highest possible, but then what if I can't afford it? So maximizations, this isn't just maximization, this is called constrained maximization, constrained optimization. We are constrained by our affordability, which is given to us by this budget line. So we have to be within our affordable bundle, which is determined by obviously our income and prices. So I wanna be on the highest indifference curve, but I also need to be able to afford it, right? And so this is the reason we move out as far as possible, and which is when we're just touching the budget line. So this becomes not affordable, so not gonna happen. This is affordable, but it's not feasible. It's not the highest. I mean, I can afford this, but this is not the highest. I can do slightly better than this. So we stop where the indifference curve is barely tangent to the budget line. And so that's that's the highest or the maximum utility we can get. Mathematically, a point of tangency is where the slope of the curve and the slope of the line are equal, right? So that's where the slope of the line and the curve are equal, meaning the two slopes that we've been talking about, which is the MRS, which is given as negative MUX over MUY, is equal to the slope of the budget constraint, which is given as BX over PY. So this is our big condition for utility maximization. So we set these two equal, and that's what gives us this utility maximized point. Now, another use of this is, if I rearrange this slightly, it gives me mux over p of x equals muy over p of y. Another way of thinking about this is that at utility maximum point, at maximized utility, your marginal utility per dollar spent for each good is equal. If it's not, then you will switch towards that good. That's one of the ways to think about this, that marginal utility per dollar spent, you should get equal marginal utility from whatever you do. If they're not equal, you will switch towards the good that offers you more marginal utility. Okay, so let's look at a math example and do some calculus um, and, and find a more mathematical answer. So we know with this one, we know that the price ratio is negative PX over PY. So using these prices, that's just negative one. But I don't have the MRS. Um, MRS is equal to negative MUX over MUY. So MUX is simply the partial derivative of utility with respect to X. So in this case, that's gonna be half, X to the negative half, Y to the one half. And MUY similarly is gonna be half Y to the negative one half X to the one half. So your MRS is going to be a ratio of these two with a negative sign. So it's X to the negative half Y to the one half over one half X to the one half Y to the negative one half. And when I simplify this, so the halves are going to get cancelled out. And when I simplify this, uh, I'm going to get negative y to the one half times y to the one half, right? Because I take it in the numerator. And this is x to the one half times x to the one half. So what I get is negative y over x, right? So I set the negative y over x equal to the price ratio which is just negative one. So this cancels out and so y equals x. So if y is equal to x, I plug this back in the budget constraint, 
which is 100 equals 1 price of x times x plus price of y times y but x and y are equal in this case so this becomes 100 equals x plus x and so that's 2x equals 100 so x is equal to 50 and since y and x are equal y is also equal to 50 so I can basically say that utility maximization happens when this is 50 and this is 50 right so that's how you maximize utility using the tangency condition but this was only for Cobb Douglas we have obviously other types of preferences for instance if you've if you've seen the last couple of tutorials you will know that this is perfect complements this is perfect substitutes these are quasi-linear and so in the next couple of tutorials we're going to talk about maximization with these preferences all right thank you for watching our video please like comment subscribe and let us know through your comments what other tutorials you want us to make